preventative maintenance in the dictionary anyway is defined as work performed on a piece of equipment to lessen the likelihood of unexpected failure. The real definition is if you do not make preventative maintenance a priority, the likelihood of your lawn care business failing is to be expected. To help with that, we have equipment surveys and shop stocking guides. Let me show you how they work. The equipment survey sheets. On this sheet, you're going to want to list out each piece of equipment you own, as well as the maintenance parts you know you're going to use, and then some of the parts that you may use. My first piece of equipment is a Skag 61 inch zero turn. I use equipment numbers, other guys name their machines, whatever you need to do to actually identify each machine. Now this is also a great place to put your serial numbers for a couple of reasons. One, if they get stolen, you'll have it handy. Two, a lot of times looking up part requires the serial number. So I'm just going to list out the rest of my equipment. Number two is a 30 inch Toro, 21 inch, another 21 inch, Echo line trimmer, steel edger, backpack, and my second backpack. Now, if you do your own maintenance on your trucks, it's a good place to list that as well. So we got all the equipment listed out. Now we're gonna put in the part numbers. Oil filter, pre-filter, air filter, spark plug, fuel filter, and a belt. So I'm gonna go through, look at each piece of equipment, find out what the part numbers are, and list them all out here. Okay, now that I've got all the equipment listed out and all the parts that they're gonna require. You notice that I put a bump head here because I always have trouble with it. But these, this miscellaneous section is great for wheels, blades, anything that you know you're gonna need. Okay, something else you'll notice, there is an advantage to buying the same type of equipment and same brands. My trimmer and my edger both use the exact same parts. So do my backpack blowers, even my Toros. Same air filter, same spark plug, same fuel filter. It's already easy to see how having all this information at a glance can save you time, which in turn will save you money, but it can save you actually a lot more time and a lot more money. Let's look at how much this $16 belt actually cost you. Let's say you're out on a job and you blow a belt. What's your first move? You're going to head into your local dealer, find a parking spot, head inside, wait in line, and have them look up the park. Hopefully it's in stock. Once you get the part, you're still going to have to go back to the shop and repair the machine. In our business, time is money. What's your hourly rate? Right off the bat, some guys will say stocking parts is an investment. And it is an investment, a good investment into your business. Think about the business insurance you pay for every month. The business insurance you used one time two years ago when one of your guys broke a window. No, wait. The deductible was higher than the replacement cost, so you didn't end up using it. Having the parts you need on hand is insurance, and it's insurance that pays off every month in time and money. Keeping the right amount of parts on hand is the key. And to help you with that, use the Shop Stocking Inventory Guide. This is where you'll list out all the part numbers that you use, the number you'll keep in stock. It also helps you with inventory and ordering. So when using a typical PM schedule chart, you'll know when the maintenance parts will have to be changed out. It's based on the number of hours each individual machine is in service, so you may not be doing them all at the same time. To make the stocking guide work for you, you have to use the information off the survey sheets. Let's take a look at my Toro oil filters. I have three machines that use the same filter. Go back over to the guide, where I fill in the part number. I use three, but I never want to run out. So I'll keep four on hand and reorder anytime I fall below three. Then once a month, when I do my physical inventory, I use the guide sheets. And for example, if I only have two on hand, I order two more, bringing me back up to four. Survey sheets and stocking guides are two powerful tools that will directly affect your bottom line. Having the right parts on hand when you need them, probably the key factor in how much profit you actually get to keep.
Like I always say, we're just a preventative maintenance company that mows lawns on the side. Don't let your machines and your profits end up here.